Hi there and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to show you how to route your phone. Now my phone's on firmware JPY 2.2.1 on the UK Vodafone network. Um, it's quite important that you download the right um, tar file that you're going to flash with Odin um, because if you download one that doesn't suit your firmware um, I can't guarantee that it will work ok but the first thing you need to do with your phone is go into settings wireless and network USB and just make sure there's a, a green dot in mass storage if there's not um, put a, a dot in it so that when you connect your phone to the PC your PC will pick it up ok now, what you want to do is, you now want to go to XDA Developers, this is um, Chainfire, um, if you go into Samsung Galaxy S and go to Android Development, you'll find Chainfire's routing tools in there. Now, if you scroll down, it gives you all the information you need to flash and also all the different versions um, to flash but the one that I'm going to flash is JPY if we'll get in a little bit closer right I'm going to flash um, JPY 1.3 BusyBox 1.17.1 zip that's the file that that I'm going to take off and flash ok so it's just a zip file if you just um, touch it click ok it'll download to your phone it'll download to your PC sorry now I've already downloaded that so there's no point in downloading, downloading it again so what you want to do now is start uploading and then navigate to that folder where you downloaded um, the the file to flash. Now we're going to put put the file, the tar file, once you unzip it, into the PDA field. Okay, and there's the file there. I've already unzipped it. If you use WinRAR or 7-zip, that'll unzip it. Now once you put the file in there, just make sure that it says tar ok if it doesn't say dot tar it won't flash and you'll probably <coughs> make a mess here ok we've put the file in there I'm now going to connect connect the phone um, sorry before I do that I should really put it in download mode ok so just quickly power it off, stick it into download mode and then we'll flash. Okay, so we'll just wait for the, the phone to vibrate to say that it's shut off. And this literally just takes seconds. It really does. Okay. Volume down. Volume down, home and power button. Press them all at once that will put your phone into the download mode now you can connect your USB cable ok once you connect it Odin will then pick it up and honestly this is just a quick flash this will literally take seconds click start see the files getting pumped into the phone and that's it. Your phone's now rooted. And um, your phone will reboot, and then once it reboots, now it'll have super user privileges. So we'll just let that reboot. You can take your USB 
dilly doot. And after a second or two, your phone will come alive again. I didn't take the SIM card out, or the SD card out this time. <coughs> I just left them in because it was such a, a small flash. It's a media scanner, just running, that's it done the internal card. And I'll probably now do the external. And that's it. Now to check that you've got the phone rooted, if you go into your applications, and scroll along or up and down whatever launch area you're using until you see super user and there's the super user icon there it used to be a little ninja but it's now a little android man and that's your phone rooted uh, there's a lot of benefits with it being rooted you can flash custom roms with it and um, run apps that require root access um, to your phone. So there you go folks, once again thanks for watching and I hope this video has been, been of some use to you. Cheerio.